I've been working with the ILC for quite some time now. Uh, mostly it's been um, being sort of an interpreter or a guide when um, researchers come from overseas to see the ILC site. Um, but also recently we've started an English language newsletter at the uh, Iwate Prefectural Government. It's called the Kirakami Times. And there we talk about uh, what is Iwate and Tohoku doing to welcome the ILC and other sort of um, things about just how the local area is thinking about the project. I think what's most impressive about the local sort of fervor for the ILC is that everybody knows about it. They've heard about it. You ask anybody, do you know the ILC? And they know about it. There's still, you know, a lot of things that they're not sure about, but they do know what it is, and most people are pretty excited about it. I met somebody recently who had just moved here from Tokyo, and she was like, well, I'm a newcomer to Iwate too, but I think that the foreign residents, the foreign researchers, when they come here, they're going to think this is as cool as I do, and they're going to really want to come here because of the ILC. Actually, a number of us, of foreign residents in the area, um, we've gotten together and we've created a group called the ILC Support Committee. What we do is we meet with local international associations, local governments, and we give them suggestions on how to make life smoother and easier here for uh, foreign residents, namely the language barrier and things like um, health care, supporting people in their lives here. Um, I think that it's still the international community here still does not know too much about the ILC, so we'd like to uh, talk more about that with our, our fellow brethren. Um, and also, um, we'd really, we're really interested in the further internationalization of Iwate and Tohoku because I think that as the world becomes more global, um, we need students to learn more about the world outside and to just sort of exchange with the world outside. And I think with the ILC we can do that and it'll be a big impetus to make Tohoku a more global place.